Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to install the Codeigniter plugin to get you started using the Codeigniter framework and programming PHP for web development. Um, you're going to need the Codeigniter plugin, which I'm going to show you how to install. Also, you have to have installed the local Apache server, um, PHP, WAMP if you're using Windows, MAP if you're using Mac, or uh, you know the LAMP environment for Linux, which you can get SAMP. Um, also, you will need the HTML5 and PHP module for NetBeans, and the NetBeans platform we're using is the 7.3.1. Um, that's it, let's get started. So we're going to run NetBeans IDE, once that loads, I'm going to show you the steps to load the Codeigniter plugin on your NetBeans platform. You go to Tools, Plugins, then you go all the way to Settings, and you're going to add a new uh, URL where you can see or download and update the coordinator plugin so you press add this is where you're gonna uh, add the URL you can name it anything you want once we get the the right URL to get coordinator on NetBeans so this is a nice page that explains how to set up your coordinator framework on NetBeans all the steps you can follow all the pictures, so you can keep watching this video. Um, we're gonna get the uh, URL from this website. We're gonna use the NetBeans 7.3.1 URL from projectkni.com, and then we're gonna add it as I show you previously. Once we add that URL, we're gonna see the plugin. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the link go to Core Igniter, Tools, then Plugins, and then Settings again. So we're going to add it. Let's call it CI from Core Igniter Plugin. And then in the URL field, we're going to copy and uh, paste our URL. There you go. So we're going to make it active and then we can go to available plugins and search for code igniter. We check for new newest. So it makes an update on, on the list. And then let's look at the whole list of available plugins we can use and install on NetBeans. There's a whole range of uh, different PHP frameworks. You see few PHP. Um, among other ones, like PHP G Y I I. We're gonna get the PHP CI framework repository and CI framework. This is gonna get all the components for Code Igniter uh, to work with auto completion and different little things. Um, when you create a new project, PHP project, you can pick the Code Igniter platform and framework. So that means will grab these files that we specify and add it to our project. So we don't have to copy and paste and pick the code igniter file. This is gonna be all done by uh, NetBeans. Once we have the plugin ready and running. So now I'm showing you how I have it set up already. You go to the options, PHP, base files, and we're gonna pick the the zip file we get from the Code Igniter website. We download the latest uh, package. Then from here, we're gonna click add zip, name it anything you want, and check the path. So every time that you create a new project, PHP, you pick the Code Igniter framework. NetBeans is gonna uh, unzip these files and put it on your project folder. 
that's how simple it is and easy plus you're gonna have auto completion so you're gonna have everything ready when you're coding your latest and most wonderful and amazing uh, web project using code igniter so this is the code igniter page you're gonna download the latest uh, update updated uh, code igniter package once that's download you're gonna go to NetBeans add the zip file to your PHP code igniter options and you're gonna be set to go to start coding PHP using the code igniter framework so let's see we're gonna run NetBeans add to options add zip I have it already set up but I'm gonna show you in case just in case how would you do it so you name it the way you want it CI package or plugin or anything you want you can even have different versions 2.1.3 pick the package we just downloaded and click OK and then you will have it in this case I already have a setup but just showing you how would you do it once you have it already you can start creating your projects um, so let's go and create a new project so we're gonna go to create new project PHP PHP application then we're gonna go ahead and click next you can name it anything you want uh, let's say maybe let's create a little hello message uh, app just to show you the basics of how would you work with code igniter using the PHP language message next then here is really important once you have your uh, local server set up you can make NetBeans to automatically copy these files to your local host or local server uh, folder so once you go to local host on your browser you can check your uh, your uh, project your coordinator project while you're running your your local server Here you can pick code igniter and you pick the version you have or you see how important it is to put the version number then you know already which framework you're you're working with and you can you know, pick use your guide files you can check how to work with code igniter or not it's up to you if you already know how to work with code igniter just leave it on check so as you see NetBeans already creates your fo your your folder structure with the code igniter framework and you can run the application you see everything got copied already to your local host local folder local uh, yeah local folder of your your server and your computer and then you can just preview it everything is there application system and it has a little fire a little logo um, you can start configuring your your code igniter project um, and yeah it's pretty simple and easy now let's create a small little message to show you how code igniter works with the PHP with the PHP language it's pretty straightforward um, so we're gonna go to controllers that's where all the functions and other jibbity jabbity is added to the project so we're gonna go to this function, the function index, which loads the welcome message view. This is MBC, model view controller. MBC, yeah, MBC, there you go. So over here we're gonna, you know, just echo or print echo the, you know, some simple message. Um, echo, hello there um, you know, 
this message. Blah, blah, blah. It's coming from NetBeans. And coding now. There you go. So once you run this, this function is going to print this message on the root page that is configured uh, once you run the project. So, you know, just run it and you will see the message show up. There you go. We don't, we no longer have that pretty welcome page showing the whole configuration on net, uh, net uh, code igniter. Instead we have the message. And that's because I commented that this load view welcome message, which loads the message welcome message view, which is, you know, default on, on code igniter. Uh, we can also create a, um, a variable store store this message and then pass it to the view and print it and show it, display it on screen. So that way code igniter works. You create a little array. In this case, the variable is data. Um, and then set the array, there's a variable called message, which stores the mess, you know, the hello there. I'm, sa I'm saying hello from it, it's blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna tell to load the welcome message view and pass this data array. And once you, so once you send that to the view, the view gets this variable message, this package of, you know, different variables that, that you have created on the controller and you can just use them. Uh, in this case, we just created a little error there. And uh, it needs the little ampersand, no ampersand, the dollar sign for the variable that we created message in the controller. So there you go. We just printed the, the same message using the controller, passing a variable to the view. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. There you go. This is NetBeans and Code Igniter. Um, hope you start creating amazing PHP uh, web projects. See you later.